Hi everybody, if you know me from areashiftyburn.com, which is a website that I run with a bunch of other people, you'll know that I like to do a few creative things every now and then. In fact, it's kind of pretty much essential to who I am. I'm also not very good at it. But, um, yeah, so I dabble in things like filmmaking and writing and music and stuff like that. And again, like I say, I'm not putting myself up as some sort of renaissance man or amazing at any of those things. I may actually be, I think the technical term is, crap. But there's one art form that's always really been a mystery to me, and that is drawing. I've never been able to draw or paint or anything like that. I don't know why I've got, like, I've got the artistic ability of an armless chimp. Um, oh, he may actually be able to draw with his feet, scratch that. So it's something I've always wanted to do. Now recently I got into a little debate with my girlfriend when she, you know, she puts herself down a little bit and I said, you know, look, whatever you want to do in your life is nothing to do with intelligence and it's nothing to do with some sort of God-given skill that you're born with. I genuinely believe that you can do anything you want, right? You want to put your mind to it, you can do it. It's all more about discipline and application than anything else. So she said, prove it. So I said I would pick something that I'm terrible at and I would try to get good at it as an example of that you could really do anything that you set your mind to. And it might not seem like a big thing, but seriously, I can't even draw stick figures properly. If I draw a stick, my voice went weird there. Ha <laughs> ha. If I draw... If I draw a stick figure, it like comes out like one leg's longer than the other and arms are all over the shop and uh, the head's all weird and it looks like sloth out of the goonies. So I've set out to try and prove my point to her that you can, even if you're rubbish at anything, if you put your mind to it, you can become good at it. And I have to say it's something that I want to do. I've always wanted to be able to draw. I think it's a brilliant, brilliant skill to have. So I started doing it, so uh, for those that know me from Area Shifty Bun, I, Alan, who is one of the other guys that, that works on that site, he puts up a lot of drawings and things, he's an incredibly talented artist. He's been helping me out, giving me a few tips, and also I've been looking at a few tutorials on YouTube, and hopefully I'll try and put them in the description bar. In two years' time, they'll probably move the description bar again. So when I go like this, it'll be up here, you know, because I used to do this, and then they moved it down here. So videos where you see in the description bar, it looks silly. Anyway, so what I did is I went out, went out to a local art shop called the Art Store, funnily enough, in Glasgow, where I come from, in Scotland, Bonnie Scotland. I don't know why I put on that accent. So the first thing I went out is I got these artists' pencils. I don't know if you can see that. Is that? Um, and they were reduced. They're, they're normally like fifteen pounds, which I think is maybe about twenty five dollars, twenty six dollars, something like that. And they were reduced to like seven pounds. So I was like, I'll be having them. So you can see them there. Nice wee set of art arts pencils. And if you don't know how these work, I just found out recently in the last few weeks how they work. You've got an HB pencil here. Let's see this. HB pencil here and this is kind of I think quite comparable to like a normal pencil and then the F and the 2H above it are harder so it means that it's more difficult to get a line out of it so you get lighter drawings out of it and then you've got your B and then 2B, 3B, 4B all the way up to 9B in this set and they get softer and softer so that by the time you get to them it's like really really easy to uh, a line down on, on a piece of, uh, of paper. I'll show you what I, I mean. I um, don't know if you can see this. Um, so this is the HB, right? So if you use that to sketch with. And this is the 9B. See that? Because this is much softer graphite, it basically comes off onto the paper much easier. So you can use that to like do different sort of like shading and things like that. So I've been following these tutorials, you know, reading online, trying to learn as much as possible about drawing basically. Sketching is what I'm trying to get into, really. Um, 
and my main sort of thing. So I got these, £7, really worth it, I don't know how long they'll last me. Obviously I got a pencil sharpener with that as well. I haven't bought pencil sharpener since like school. I've always used pens when I was at uni and stuff like that because I never had to draw anything. Uh, because anything I'd draw would just be hopeless. Even male genitalia for comic effect would be horrendously uh, out of proportion. So I've been at this now for I think three weeks. So I went from horrific drawings, and, and I'm not saying they're very good. Oh, oh before before I go into that, I got one of these, which is a, a, a soft putty rubber, which is quite cool. It, it, it basically rubs out, but you can put it into all sorts of different shapes. You can knead it into different shapes. And um, what I've found, at least from what I've heard, is that you shouldn't really look on it as an eraser. You use it to... It's not to like get rid of mistakes. It's actually a drawing tool, so you can you you can use it to like infer um, light or shininess on an object and things like that. But you can also use it just to rub out a mistake you've made, as I often do. So that's one of these. These are great. That was only like a pound twenty-five or something like that, which I think is probably around about two dollars or something. Um, okay, so do you want to see what I've been drawing? Now they're not very good, I'm just starting out there in mind, I've been at this now for a couple of weeks. So um, so first of all, I did Stewie. Um, this is a sketchbook I got by the way, and I got this one as well, which is a hardback sketchbook. I got this for just a couple of pounds, which is good. So I thought I'd try to do some cartoon characters because I thought they might be quite easy to draw. And um, so I did Stewie from Family Guy, you can see that the head's a little bit wrong and the body's like <laughs> to the side a little bit. Everybody in my sketch pad is deformed. Um, this is Homer. I think his head's maybe a little bit too big. I don't know if you can see that. And um, a little bit out of proportion, but you know, I was happy with it because, let's say, a couple of weeks previous to this, I was drawing Stickman. Here's a picture of Bella Lugosi now. This looks nothing like Bella Lugosi. This ended up looking like some guy in a cheap vampire Halloween costume. Um, but that was an attempt to try and do something a little bit more realistic. Cartman from South Park. It's okay, I think, although sometimes I think the mouth should be up here. I'm not entirely sure. Um, this is probably one of my better ones, which is, but it's a bit faint. That's uh, Boris Karloff as Frankenstein's monster, because I love film. I, just adore film and I love the Universal Studio monster pics and uh, yeah it went okay although he looks like he's wearing guy liner. Brian from Family Guy, I think his head's a little bit too big. Started doing the poster for Creep Show, which is one of my favourite anthology horror films. Um, can't finish that. Herbert. Get your fat ass back here. I can't do impressions. Um, from Family Guy. I think his nose is slightly wrong. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Um, Quagmire, but again, maybe slightly out of proportion. Say his face looks a bit too big. Um, Michael Keaton's Batman with women's lips, apparently. Um, which is nice. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, that is freaking awesome. I can't do Peter Griffin either. Um, I think maybe his head's a little bit too thin. Started doing Carl Kolschak. Can't really see that. Um, see if I've done anything else. Started doing. I've got a few sketches I never finished here. Like, Garfield and uh, started doing Gizmo from Gremlins. Anyway, so that's what I've been working on, and uh, we're out of time. So gotta go. Bye.